welcome back to another Gubba Homestead video. I'm Gubba, I'm a first time homesteader, following the footsteps of my homesteading forebearers, vlogging my journey, my wins, my losses, my ups, my downs, and also vlogging it on GubbaTV.com. And today I am so excited because we are going to be making homemade eggnog. I love eggnog, literally love it. Gallon. So yummy, I've never made it from scratch before, but I'm about to today with you and I'm hoping that it tastes good. And it's gonna make about a quart, so it's two cups of milk, one cup of heavy whipping cream, and six egg yolks, and I'm assuming it should all fit in here. And if it's good, then I'm gonna make like half a gallon and double the recipe, but the recipe that I'm using today only does about a quart. Uh, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss any adventures. So, to make homemade egg Eggnog, you are going to need six egg yolks, a half cup of granulated sugar, one cup heavy whipping cream, two cups milk, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, a pinch of salt, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Super easy, no hidden weird ingredients, no GMO stuff. Well, actually, this isn't like the heavy whipping cream. Well, uh, there might be some, maybe. But there's no like, you know, hydrolyzed carbon diloba deeply blue blah 25. You know what I'm saying? There's none of that in there. This isn't organic. That's not organic. The vanilla's not. I plan to make my own vanilla, but I'm just using what I have because I stocked up on vanilla. So going through that right now. But the milk that I'm using is raw milk. Don't be coming for me in the comments. Um, maybe I'll do a whole video on raw milk. I use raw milk to make my kefir. I'm probably gonna get back into making kefir again. I used to make kefir before I moved and then I moved moved and then stopped because it was busy, but raw milk, so it hasn't been processed, pasteurized, nothing, straight from the cow. Uh, so let's get started. We need six chicken egg yolks, which I'm just going to put in here. I'm gonna save the egg whites, give them to the dogs for meal toppers. All right, so I'm actually gonna put on an apron. All right, let's get cracking. So these are actually also farm eggs. There's still like the egg goodness on there from the chicken. So I'm gonna crack them and then put them into here, get the yolk and then put them in there. Oh. There's still a chicken on this one. Okay, I need to be more careful. I'll get one egg yolk. All right, so there's one. And this is weird, so I'm filming on my phone right now, and the camera hole is like right there, but I'm like used to like looking straight on, so my eyes are like. Anyway, so we got one. Something I've noticed too about farm fresh eggs is the yolks are darker than. Um, just normal store-bought, non, I don't know, massive hatchery eggs. Because I believe the chickens are able to free range. At least every yolk that I've gotten from a friend or a farm, the yolks are darker. They actually taste better too. I wasn't the biggest fan of eggs until I started having like actual like farm fresh eggs. And then it makes me happy. Okay, I am making a mess, but we got it pretty much. It might have been a little. Okay, so that's number three. My hands are getting a little dirty, but it makes me happy knowing that the chickens are happy. And then happy chicken gives a happy egg. Come on, baby. But it literally would not be cooking with me if I wasn't making a mess. So wish my hands. Okay, so that was number four. I cannot lose count. I will lose count. So that was four. So this would be five. I'm trying to get as much egg white off as possible. Number five. And this will be the last one. Okay, so that was number six. I'm gonna wash my hands. And now, we're all done with the eggs. The egg whites, I will use this as a topper for dog food tonight. The recipe, so whisk egg yolk and sugar. So we need a half cup of granulated sugar. I only have a cup, we need to grab a half cup. So we need a half cup of granulated sugar. I'm gonna put that in there. And now we're going to whisk this up. We are going to whisk this until it's nice and frothy. We'll just let it go for a bit. So the sugar and egg yolks are incorporated. It's a pretty yellow color, a little frothy there. You can see with all the bubbles. And now we're going to warm up the milk. So we are going to warm up two cups of the milk, one cup heavy whipping cream, half teaspoon of the nutmeg, and then a pinch of salt on the stove over medium high heat. I'm probably just gonna put it over medium because my 
stove like burns really hot and I do not want to coddle or burn them out. So I gotta be careful with that. And then once it's warmed up, we're gonna be adding a spoonful of the warm milk at a time to here while it's whisking. And that's why I'm using my KitchenAid. You could do that like handheld and then add it and then whisk and then add. But I just figured the whisking attachment on my KitchenAid would be really nice. My raw milk. Okay, I'm putting in my milk. Two cups of milk. One cup heavy whipping cream. I love heavy whipping cream. I actually made hot chocolate the other day and instead of water or milk, I just made it with heavy whipping cream. It was really, really good. A little dangerous. All right, so I'm gonna put this on about medium heat, so about three, three and a half. And then I'm just going to whisk until it warms up, like comes to a low simmer. I'm also gonna put in my nutmeg right now, which is just half a teaspoon and a pinch of salt. There goes my nutmeg, pinch of salt. I'm just going to whisk this until it gets warm. And then we're going to add one like large, probably like a tablespoon at a time into the egg mixture until it's incorporated, like all the milk is gone. And you do that, I think it's to temper the eggs so the eggs like don't turn into scrambled eggs. It's probably warming up. I'm probably gonna put like dab and see if it's warmed up. You want to continuously stir so you don't burn the milk. Okay, it's definitely warm. Want it a little like more warm so it's like gently simmering. Definitely, it's hot, really, really hot. So I'm probably just gonna let it go for like just a little bit, see if it gets any like light bubbling. And then I'm gonna start spooning it into the egg mixture, one tablespoon at a time, and that's probably gonna take forever. I'm gonna turn this off. It's starting to seem the light simmer. I'm gonna turn on my KitchenAid. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm just adding one tablespoon at a time of the milk mixture because it's really hot. And if we just poured it all in, we'd probably get scrambled eggs and we do not want scrambled egg eggnog. So we're just tempering the eggs, getting them used to the warm milk. And you want to be whisking vigorously while you do this. KitchenAid would be really nice, but again, it's doable with that one. Okay, so I just finished adding the, all the tablespoons of the milk mixture into the egg mixture and I've been whisking like crazy. So I have this beautiful, frothy, yummy smelling, smells like nutmeg, <laughs> um, mixture right here. So now we're gonna put it back on the stove and then we're gonna heat it um, over again, medium high heat and whisk it until it thickens. And now I'm gonna put it into the jar, which should be fine. And then we're gonna allow it to cool and it'll thicken as it cools well. It wouldn't be cooking with me if I didn't make a mess. And I'm hoping that some of you guys can relate to me in always making a mess when you cook. Like no matter how hard I try, I'm gonna make a mess. But I do like to clean as I go, so there's that. So you can let me know in the comments if you're like me and just make a big mess. So this is gonna heat up. I can already feel it like thickening. I found my funnel, definitely gonna need a funnel to put it into the mason jar. Yeah, so this is thickening really fast. I can just feel by the like the tension as I'm thick whisking. Also, if you want a thinner consistency, I like thick eggnog, extra thick. Um, you can just add more milk. Whoa, baby, this is thick. Okay. So this is pretty thick and it's gonna thicken as it cools. So I'm going to remove this from heat. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna add in a half teaspoon vanilla, whisk that in, and then we're gonna do the hard task of pouring it into the mason jar. Wish me luck. Not a good idea. I'm probably just gonna go run that under hot water. How hot is this? Yeah, that is hot. I'm glad I thought of that. We don't need, you know, shattered mason jars around here. I'm like half tempted to just pour it in. Okay, I'm just gonna pour it in. Okay, wish me luck. So there's still some in here, which I will just put in something separate. This is a quart, it's beautiful. We didn't have any shattered mason jars. I'm gonna go get another jar. This sat too long just by sitting there, me not like touching it, maybe. Okay, I'm just gonna pour it anyway. So I overflowed it and I'm <laughs> to go to the sink and take this out. 
Let's do a spoon test. So this one is definitely a smoother consistency, lesson learned, just letting it even sit for like, as long as I did, going over there to get a jar, don't do it. I mean, I'm still gonna drink it, let's be real. But um, I don't, I mean, is it scrambled egg in there? I don't know, but this one's perfect. And I can even see the different texture. Um, but I'm so excited, like it tastes like eggnog. And this is the first time I'd ever done it, so I was hoping it was gonna taste like eggnog. Yum! That tastes so stinking good. I think on my next batch, maybe I'd add, add, actually I could still add in a little cinnamon. I might add in some cinnamon, because I really like cinnamon uh, flavor, maybe a little more uh, nutmeg, maybe like instead of half teaspoon nutmeg, do like one teaspoon nutmeg. So since I'm the only one drinking it, I mean, I'm just gonna use the same spoon. So I would say just make this basic recipe and then add in at the end what you want. Yum. That tastes so good. Yummy. I'm definitely gonna make hot chocolate with this later. <laughs> the eggnog hot chocolate. Um, well, thank you so much for hanging out with me, take, oops, taking time out of your day to come hang out with me. I appreciate it so much. Making eggnog with me is my first time ever. I'm so stinking sto stoked how it turned out. I love eggnog. Lesson learned, yeah, I don't know if this, this like chunk here is like egg or... It, anyways, okay. <laughs> thank you so much. Don't do anything a good boy and do. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and thank you for hanging out with me.